Um, hey everybody, um, Alex here, and uh, today we'll be talking about Mid Journey version 4. Now, this is an entirely new build uh, that has been in development for over nine months. It will be the best version released so far for achieving uh, better results for text faces and, you know, just general geometry. That is not to say that the older uh, versions aren't good anymore. Uh, you can get better results on those versions than you are getting here, depending on the subject. You know, I'll, I'll go into details on that later. Uh, but uh, yeah, Major is officially supporting version 3, and version 4 is out for testing now. It still needs a lot of improvement, which will be rolled out in the following months. But, you know, we'll go through some of the limitations now. Um, what you're seeing here is just content... Uh, basically generated with 3N4 from multiple people on my Discord server. Uh, if you want to um, activate uh, Mid Journey version 4, you've got to go into Mid Journey basically in Discord. Um, so I've just got I've got a chat here, um, and this is on my Discord server. So I've got an AI generated imagery um, category. Anyway, in here. Uh, what you want to do is type in settings and this will open a panel uh, with options. And then you can see in here we've got MJ, MJ version 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now MJ version 4 works with high quality um, cost. Um, now the, another very good mid journey uh, option would be the test photo. I use that a lot for my nebulas and stuff like that, but I also use Mid Journey version 3. But this one doesn't work with high quality, so you're going to have to use base quality with that. Now, Mid Journey version 4 does have some limitations, um, and it's not, you know, we don't know when they're going to be updated. Like, you know, you can't generate, for example, 16 by 9 images with it so far. You can only do square images, like you're seeing up here, so you can do that sort of stuff. Anyway, um, so uh, you can only use stylized medium. You can go to low, which means the most realistic, I guess. Uh, but you know, you, you most of the options work. But as I said, you can uh, some of the stuff like um, uh, aspect ratio can be changed. Now, because I've got Mid Journey Four enabled, if I look at this prompt here that the user has created, I can upscale his his stuff. So you know, I can try and upscale, for example, a second image and maybe his fourth image. Um, and this will then obviously start a job. I'm using the relax mode or uh, over here in settings, you can go to, uh, um, well, actually, that's very weird. It says, oh, right, it, it's got relax because that's how he generated it. I'm doing it in fast mode. So this is actually using uh, mid -gen. I'm not. I, I think because his prompt was probably generated with something else, so I'm not sure if he's used uh, MJ3 or not. For me, it's not actually doing it with MJ4. It's doing it with the settings that he used at the time, but I'm upscaling it with fast mode. So if I want to generate something, so let me just say imagine prompt, and I'm going to add... Nebula, combustion, um, space, uh, you know, just space, volumetrics. And then I'm also going to say things like uh, octane render, hyper realistic, which will help quite a bit. So, you know, get, uh, get more quality, maybe use 8K. Um, so something like that. Um, again, I'm just doing, I'm just doing a very simple text. Once I put this in, it will now generate, you can see in here, it says uh, quality to version four. So now it's going to generate four images. Now, this is the stuff that it generated uh, with, um, uh, from, from Antoine Omega's uh, prompt. Um, and these can still be, you know, upscaled to max. So this tells me that he's used probably MJ3 for this uh, because I can upscale to max. Uh, I'm just going to press this button and do it to just see what sort of results we're getting. And you can see now my prompt has started, uh, which I'm going to be quite curious to see how that looks like. Now, um, I, would, um, I, would, I would definitely play around with relax mode to start off with, just so you don't use your fast um, hours. So that's another thing as well. If you type in info, um, you can see your current sort of like fast hours and... For me here, I've still got 14 hours left of this month's uh, sort of thing. And as you can see, I've generated a lifetime, um, 
1,270 images, and then it shows me how much I've generated with relax mode. You know, it shows you some information. It's not really that important. I mean, it's very difficult to use all those hours. But when you do things like skyboxes like I do, you know, you can actually ramp up quite a bit. Um, I have gone into an in-depth uh, sort of tutorial before of how I, you know, what I do and how I do them. Uh, if you are interested in watching that, just have a look on my channel. It goes through passive income as well, so you can learn quite a few things. Now, we've got four images here. Um, so for me, really, when I do a skybox, I like to look at stuff like this and, and sort of um, try and see which of these could be like a collection. So if you look at these three, they actually could work together. So you could, I could start upscaling, um, you know, you one, two, and four, uh, which would be uh, image one, two, and four. Um, but then, you know, with that in mind, uh, I could also get some variations of those. So for example, I could get more variations of version four if I wanted just to get another four images and work from there just to create a collection. Uh, I like these. They're very interesting. Uh, I think they work, would work quite well as some form of logos or maybe a centerpiece into something. Um, I, I, you know, just, just mid journey overall is a very powerful software, but you know, I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I've generated before. So if I go on my, uh, if I go and talk to my bot here, the mid journey bot, um, you can see uh, this is my wife generating some Santa Claus type of things, but I'm also generating things like the pillars of creation, uh, which I can use in my work. I've, I can also generate HR Geiger style trees with a moon and a ship around it, you know. The, uh, you know, an ancient temple as well. That's very interesting. So you can get so many different things. It's actually crazy um, what you can do. Uh, I mean, for example, I've used some of these in my latest work, uh, skyboxes that are built uh, for people to use. You can try and do some uh, logos as well, but it's still not there. Even with version 4, you can see it can't properly write Unreal Engine logo. Um, it does some weird stuff on it. Uh, let's just go back to the, to the server. Uh, let's have a look at what it generated. So this is, uh, you know, if I actually open the original here, just so I can sort of like get um, the image on the screen, this is it. I can save it. So I could just save it and then open it. Um... Let me just open the uh, let me just open the um, the file. I'm curious to see what resolution it came out at. So if you look at the details, a 2K sort of image. Now what I do is I use Gigapixel and, and other software like that to upscale it. Again, you can see that in my in my tutorial video, so you can understand the workflow. Um, so this is a 2K image, and you can't really upscale it any further with Mid Journey from this point. Uh, but one thing you can do is you've got some options like remaster, detail, upscale, redo, if you want the uh, upscale to be done again, if you're not really happy. I must say, um, um, Mid Journey version 4 is not that great at things like cosmic um, nebulas and stuff. I generally tend to just use um, the detail, upscale, redo, or maybe use a remaster as well. Let's just see the details of that so you can see what, you can see what it looks like now uh, with MJ4. And again, MJ4 is really good, but it's it's a lot better for things like faces, geometry, uh, text. Um, again, that doesn't mean that it will write the good text. It just means that it will be more accurately depicted. Um, but you'll see here, so you can already sort of tell that this particular mid journey, uh, it's not, although, although it says there v4 i'm not really you know it's not really using v4 it's using something else i'm pretty sure for that uh it's just doing a sort of a remaster and i believe the remaster is going to be the test p so if we look back into the um, settings here i believe when i do a remaster it will look at using mj version 3 uh or potentially mj test photo or test so um you probably just have to do a bit of testing on that, tweaking on it, just to get that idea. Now, this is the, uh, what was it here? What did we do? Oh, this is the remaster. Okay, so when I when I got up here to these options, the detailed upscale redo was what generated the, bet the you know, that good looking image, and the remaster generated these two, which I, I don't even 
I've no idea uh, what, what the hell is going on. Well, I could probably try and generate something else. But this, this is almost finished. This is kind of reminiscent of my of my other work that I've done for skyboxes. Um, so let's just let's just let it finish, and I will open my um, R Station account. I can show you guys uh, what I mean, like what I've done. Uh, but let's just bring the account in here, um, so you can you can see it. Uh, so over here in the store tab, especially, I have got this animated uh, Space Sky Boxes Volume 1. And this is one of those where I've used that type of prompt to use that. Obviously, I had to do a lot of texture stitching and stuff to be able to get this sort of result. It wasn't a simple task. Um, but yeah, I've used something like that. Okay. Uh, but... I believe I generated bigger images, like they were like almost 3K, because I uh, I was using a different aspect ratio. Well, uh, this is uh, square, obviously. Uh, I don't really like these. I think that they're quite like no, it's just it's not really working. Uh, if I go on the private chat again, I can show you guys. Um, I think I can probably find an earlier prompt if Mid Journey will allow me. Um, not, I don't think I've got an option to just go to the top. I think I'll be a lot of scrolling here to get to the point where I could show you the prompts that I've used at the time uh, to generate the, that sort of stuff. But you can even see here, you know, this is part of some of the, the skybox that I've got for sale. I mean, these are really cool, especially when they're upscaled to maximum. Uh, ignore the hamster there. That's not really good. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I've got, I've got so many different things. Um... Look, these are these are really cool. Like you can see so much detail in them. And if I open the original on this, um, this is really cool. And especially if you use Gigapixel to upscale this, Gigapixel does a really good job at getting you the fine details of all of this stuff. So yeah, I definitely, I definitely recommend uh, you guys try Mid Journey Four. It's it's a really big. It's a really big thing, especially if you're trying to do things like portraits and stuff. You can see how good they are. I mean, honestly, would you believe that this is not an, a sort of a, a, a painting that somebody did? I mean, it looks so good. Uh, I really like it. But yeah, I just wanted to showcase to you guys a bit about the newest version of Mid Journey. And again, watch my tutorial on how to, how to use it for... Uh, you know, generating revenue, passive income. What do I do for that? And I've made quite a bit of money with it, so it's going quite well. I'll be doing some more videos on that, covering it uh, in the future. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Tell me what you think about Mid Journey. Do you think it's worth a go? Uh, and yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.